Welcome everyone and welcome back to the French Cooking Academy. My name is Stefan and Autumn has officially arrived in France and in Europe. And look what I've got in front of me. Can you recognize this? These are quails, my friends. That's right, I went to Les Halles Bocuse in Lyon and of course this is the world famous indoor market. And look at this picture, there was plenty of game meats available. So what I did, bought some quails because these are the easiest to prepare uh, and they are the most kind of uh, that will taste kind of the same as a chicken. So if you want to venture into the game world and cooking something different than chicken, quails are a really good starting point. I'm going to make today the all-time classic caillot raisin, uh, quails with grapes, and I'm going to serve this with a side of girol. Freshly picked forest mushroom. It's all in season, it's all tender, it's all delicious. Let's go. So let's start the video by presenting the quails and here they are, I bought three quails, in French they're called Kai, uh, C-A-I-L-L-E and this is how they look like. Basically they look like mini chickens. These are fully grown birds and they are migrating birds meaning that there is a season uh, that you can get them. In France they arrive in the shop around September and the reason for that is that just before migrating quails tend to eat a lot and get really fat so that they can do the journey. Uh, and uh, you know, it's a godsend for, uh, for us when you want to get quails because then they're nice, nice and fatty. And it's actually a quite a fatty bird. It doesn't look like it, but it is a bit of a fatty bird. But it's also very, very fragile, like a really, really mini chicken. But it's really delicious. So we're going to prepare these quails very, uh, the most simple way, kind of roasted in a pan, nicely colored. And we're just going to add a little bit of salt uh, and then some grapes around to try to keep uh, that, that fragile meat nice and moist, nice and tender. I'm going to serve this with a little uh, jus and we're going to make with the grapes and that's it. So the first step what we're going to do is to prep up the quails for cooking. Now let's start with the quail. Now very simple for the quail. We're going to be attaching the legs like that. Okay. And we need to season a little bit. So on the inside, it's like a chicken, a tiny bit of rock salt. And what you can do is add a piece of grape inside the quail. That's it. Usually you're going to put foie gras and something like this. So that's all we're going to do. And next thing, we're going to attach that, the legs like this, and we're going to try to bard the quail, meaning to put some bacon around. Okay, so let's see how we're going to do that. So let's start with the legs. So we've stuffed the quail with just a piece of grape. What we're going to do, and we take a butcher string, uh, very simple, small legs, uh, and I'm just going to cross the legs like that. And with the string, I'm just going to start to do one or two attachments like this, you see? And then basically from here, I can work easily and make a knot, uh, to the best of your ability. Up, and then another one, and that's it. There's really nothing, uh, nothing special with the quills. That's it, when you're here, and you can up, get the bits, and you're done. That's what it looks like. Okay, the next thing we're going to do uh, is take a piece of, piece of bacon like this. I'm putting my quail on one side, and we're just going to wrap the bacon around like that. Up, to make sure that the chest of the quail is kind of protected. Uh, uh, so that's the back. Uh, I'll show you from the back. And then we're going to put a, just a piece of string under. Okay, and we're going to try to, so you do one pass, two pass, to avoid that it goes, and then we can make it nice and firm, okay? And then we do a final knot. So I'm going to put two strings to make sure it doesn't move. So one here, and I'll do one towards the back. So here is the finished quail. Huh? It is stuffed with one piece of grape. You can add foie gras in it and a little, little bit of salt. As you can see, we've got the two strings. This is how it looks like from the front. And if you put it like this, you get a bit of, of a roll. And this is the under. So it's, it's like a little, little roti, huh? a little strapped quail. It's called bardé in French, which is the quail barded or wrapped around with smoked bacon. All right, so my quails are ready. I put them back in the fridge huh, to cool down a little bit. And next is the grapes. So grapes, huh? white grapes, and we need to skin them. So what we're going to do first is to take all of the grapes one by one and put them in the bowl. Once they're in the bowl, we're going to rinse them under clear water just to give them a clean. Now you may wonder how on earth are we going to peel grapes? Well, very simple. We're going to use the Mondé technique. 
and like the tomatoes so a pan of boiling water take some of your grapes and you plunge them for about 10 seconds in the boiling water scoop them out and we're going to plunge them in the cold water all right so as soon as it's there basically you're going to take your uh, your grapes and that's just going to help uh, you grab a little bit it's just going to help to make it easier to peel so it's a bit of a painful process but you got the idea you go through and you remove all of the skins one by one next mushrooms okay so i've got my girol here what i'm gonna do small knife i'm just gonna trim a little bit uh, of the mushroom a little rinse and tap it like this and put it on the side that's it don't soak it in water just a little little brush and rinse rapidly and that's it cleaned Okay, the mise en place is ready. So the quails are here. I've got my mushrooms ready. My grapes have been peeled and I've been uh, pouring in cognac, as you can see here. And so they're macerating in cognac that we're going to use after for deglazing. I've got some shallots and garlic uh, for the stock and for the mushrooms. We're going to also use a little bit of parsley. Remember, you need 100 ml of uh, brown chicken stock. And now let's get cooking. And now let's start cooking. We're going to use a sauté pan on medium to high heat. Uh, and we're going to use a mix of butter and oil. That's what I've done. Uh, so it starts to foam. We want it to uh, be nice and hot. And we're going to call Mr. Quail. You're required. There we go. And I'm going to start by cooking. So we need to color the, the quails first. Start on their side. Like a chicken, we're going to use a, the freeway technique. Okay, about four minutes, turn them around. And I'm going to put these, so as you can see, the heat, you can see it's, uh, it's very hard. You have to be careful not to make it too hot, but enough as well. So otherwise you don't get rid of brownish color. So I think the best, we're going to take it slow. I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit. We want to go gently with these to get a nice brown coloring. All right, so now I'm going to turn them again. Uh, put them on that side. Ah, hot. I'm trying to get that crispiness everywhere. And finally, I think I'm going to turn them over another few minutes just to get some coloring. So the goal of the exercise, from what I can see here, try to favor a lower heat not to burn anything and it's pretty hard to take get that kind of brownish color it gets a yellowish color but you want to have them roasted so another five minutes and then that's it we're going to finish them in the oven all right time is up so what i'm going to do is turn the heat off and we're going to finish to cook them briefly for 10 minutes in the oven to get that final coloring and that's it they will be done okay so I'll put these for 10-15 minutes maximum. I want to make sure these parts here are cooked in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius, which is about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so now that the quails are in the oven, is the perfect time to do our mushrooms. So a bit of butter, mushrooms in. And we're just gonna pan fry them, high heat, a bit of salt and pepper. And a bit later, we're going to add some garlic. All right, so the water starts to evaporate. What do we want to do now is add the garlic. And I'll borrow a bit of shallot from the dish. Okay, and instead of getting a fork, try to just toss them in a pan like this. Okay. I'm going to leave them to cook gently with the garlic and everything. Huh? And just tossing around. Huh? No fork or spoons. All right. So, get a nice color. Heat off. And then, boom bit of parsley in there just a toss a nice fragrance and that's it mushroom done all right so the quails are done actually it took just a bit less than 10 minutes because i didn't want to overcook them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reserve them and i'm putting them in a plate i'm going to cover with foil and keep them warm and use that pan i'm going to remove the excess of fat and we're going to finish off the sauce and now for the sauce uh, so I'm putting the pan on high heat. I'm going to use some shallots in here. Uh, and we're going to just try to add these flavors and caramelize whatever juices we've got in here. 
immediately after I'm going to use some of the cognac I've got and that's going to allow me to really just get that first deglazing and so I'm going to reduce this almost dry and I'm going to add some stock in all right the cognac is in is reduced I'm going to put my grapes in and I'm going to use the juice from the grape to detach the brown and kind of caramelize the grapes a little bit yeah, give them a nice color very quickly as soon as you get a bit of color you don't want to leave them too long I'm going to reserve them in another container and keep them for the presentation all right so I've got some of the juice from the grapes and the cognac and now I'm going to add the stock in for the stock very simple I've got my piece of mushroom about 100 ml and I'm just going to reduce this to a glaze okay my sauce has reduced uh, almost to a glaze and what I what I want to do is really just uh, take the quails like this and I'm going to use that sauce just to pour it over and uh, to uh, just add some kind of nice brown coloring onto my quails uh, you, it's not really you don't really serve a sauce it's a roasted quail uh, so the most important is just the meat itself and a bit of that juice and I'm going to put this and serve that now with the grapes and the mushroom around that's it and now to serve so sorry guys I had to pre-plate because uh, to put everything bit by bit it was a bit of uh, kind of a nightmare to get it right but basically when you got the, the quails like that a little bit of the uh, jus corsé and which is like a really kind of gamey kind of jus over your things like this nice and warm and you can finish off with a little bit maybe uh, you know the typical parsley that I like to use and it's not much but that's it you know that's really une caillot raisin hein, quail with grapes with its gamey type of jus right so now that we've got the presentation out of the way how to serve it uh, let's try to cut a piece of that uh, of that bird hein? so it's like a chicken hein? so we'll cut it like this and I take a little bit of the side here up and just to show you guys do you want to oh well, look at that it's a bit like a it's a bit like duck mm, lovely mm, it's really really tender and delicious now for the color uh, don't be alarmed this is a gamey meat a bit like duck and it can dry the meat can dry very very quickly so you want to serve it a little bit pinkish like this lastly before I go let's do the tryout of a little piece of the breast here with the grapes because it's really something that's beautiful and you see that little sauce is just enough jus in here oh and there's a piece of bacon as well let's try that wow the hint of bacon with the sweetness of the grape hint of mushroom and that delicate kind of meat of the quail I swear to God, it's really good. But anyway, that completes the video for this week. Uh, and this is my caillot raisin or the quail with grapes. But guys, that's it. We're all done for this week with this new classic French recipe for the autumn. I hope you liked it. And if you have questions as always, uh, drop this in the comment section. If you want to uh, send me your pictures, do this on Instagram, hashtag French Cook Academy. You can also follow me on Facebook, check the website, or eventually also become a patron on my Patreon page. It's always help the channel. There's also the newsletter. This is the new thing. If you want to have all the latest news and receive my video by email, just subscribe to the newsletter because this is where you're going to have all the latest stuff coming in. The link is in the video description. So I see you all next time for my next recipe. Take care all. Bye-bye.